I'm Aslı Güvenç. I studied business at Koç University. Uh, I had my MBA degree in Boğaziçi University. Uh, then, as most of you, I had worked in several companies. Uh, I started to work at British Petroleum. Then uh, I decided that lubricants was not for me, so uh, I made a transition to healthcare. Uh, and for like five years, uh, I worked in different pharmaceutical companies. And for the last two years, uh, I've been working as a manager uh, at the global business analysis function of GE Healthcare. But of course, that was not the story I want to tell you today. It is about clothes, it's about leadership, and it's about my dog, Jackie. <laughs> Before starting, I will ask you a question. How many of you have unused clothes in your wardrobes? Raise your hands, yeah. And how many of you like online shopping? Oh, <laughs> less than I guess. But I think you will like my story. Um, in May 2011, while I was packing my winter clothes to place my summer clothes, I found out that I have many, many clothes that I hadn't put on like for ages. Um, each season and my mother and I were collecting some of our used, uh, unused clothes and we were giving to our helper. And in theory and practice, that seemed to work, but there was some piece of items that I was never able to give away, like my prom dress. Around the same time, <laughs> I was having my MBA uh, in Boston University and I selected leadership course as one of my electives. Um, and of course, uh, taking a leadership course doesn't make you a leader all of a sudden, but it gives you some great insight and inspiration. And these quotes are uh, some of my, my favorite quotes. And this one, be the change you want to see in the world. Please keep this in mind. This fact about me will become really important, so <laughs> bear with me. I'm a true animal lover as you can see in this photo. And I have a dog whose name is Jackie. She's adorable. Uh, she has lots of toys. She eats great food. She has unconditional love. She's part of our family. Uh, but I'm afraid she thinks she's human sometimes. <laughs> but unfortunately, not all animals are as lucky as Jackie. In Istanbul alone, there are uh, thousands of stray street animals. and. Uh, there are animal shelters, but most of them uh, don't get the necessary funds from government and municipal, so they need to stand kind of on their own feet uh, by the help of volunteers. And I always wanted to do something for them. So one night, all these thoughts came together, and I had my aha moment, and I said, why don't I form a block and distribute my clothes for animal shelter donations? Let's try. Then. I got a blog address and I photographed all my unused clothes and within a week my blog was ready. And uh, I shared it in my Facebook and Twitter accounts and my friends started to share it and within hours I started to receive hundreds of emails from people I have never known before thanking me for the initiative, offering me help, wanting to buy clothes and it was unbelievable. To be honest, I wasn't expecting such a quick and um, supportive response. With the first month donations, we were able to buy like 300 kilograms of pet food. Uh, and I started to work with Barınak Gönülleri Derneği volunteers and uh, we were supporting especially Trakya Barınakları in that time. By the time uh, the blog has gained lots of publicity both in social and traditional media and in 2011, it was selected as one of the top 10 women blogs in Turkey with public vote in Turkcell Blogging Awards. And in 2012, uh, I participated in a TV show. It is a Dragon's Den like TV show, Bir Fikri Mi Var. And of course, my project wasn't elected. <laughs> uh, it was perceived to be too non profit, and I remember uh, Alpan Manas thanking me and congratulating me for my moral courage in Turkish. <laughs> but every cloud has a silver shining, then a silver lining, then I met with dear Leyla Alaton, and she's one of my angels. Uh, she liked the idea, and she decided to support me. 
She first donated her own clothes, then she encouraged me and inspired me to extend the coverage of this blog, not to support only animal shelters, but to support other charities with different causes, like Morcheta. With uh, Leyla Alaton's support and efforts, uh, I started to work with Morcheta, and uh, we started to sell celebrity donated clothes, which Leyla Alaton uh, bought from Morcheta auction before, uh, in Aslan Dolabı, uh, and it, it was kind of uh, unbelievable for me because now we have Cezanne Naxus, Tarkans, Ayja Pekkan's clothes in Aslan Dolabı. When I first launched it, uh, I, I, can't, I couldn't imagine something like that. These are some of the major projects that I had in Aslan Dolabı during 2013. Uh, you may still be a little unclear about how the system works. It's a system based on mutual goodwill and trust. <laughs> it's like that. You send me your clothes or your unused items. It can be anything. It, it, it doesn't supposed to be uh, a cloth. I photograph them. Then I list them in the blog. Then you donate, but not to a can. You make the donation to a bank's legal bank account. Then send me the slip and I ship your product. That is. It's easy. <laughs> Today, Aslan Dolabı had its uh, third year anniversary and um, it is still online. It's not a charity organization. It is uh, not a shopping website. It's a, people, it's a place for people who, believes in, who believe in giving back. It's a place for people who believe that little things uh, can actually make big differences. Think about this. With just first month donations, we were able to feed a dog like for, for the half years. If you think this is not significant, this was what I was able to do on my own. If you were to join me, I believe that we can do much, much more better. So, how can you help me? You can help me to find a sponsor for dry cleaning, find a sponsor for shipment, you can help me find new clothes. There are lots of th things you can do to find me. You can just spread the word. By launching Aslan Dolby in 2011, I made a bet on people's generosity. Yeah, actually I did that. And Frank said, in spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. And she told that in that uh, difficult times when she witnessed um, loss of cruelty. But now, uh, I can say that I also believe that people are good at heart and good things always win. So my last word will be never stop believing in people. Thank you for listening. <laughs>